hey, 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 it's Sunday morning, time to focus your energy for the week. Come on in and join me, Terri Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in and join me for a few minutes. We're going to talk about the energy for the week, all that's going on, so much is going on. Focus our energy and look at some cards. So come on in and join me for a few moments. So much is going on. So much is going on. Yes, it is. Can you feel it? Do you notice the changes that are going on all around you? So much is happening. We have a great week coming up. We have a lot of movement going on in the cosmos. Really, it's just an ideal time to shift up your energy, to make some changes, and to open up to that grand purpose of who you are. Really big, really important right now as we move through this week. What are you noticing? What are you finding out about yourself, about your path? All these things are coming up for us, all of us right now. Really excited to share this. So come on in and join me. Hey, Millie, good morning. So share this out too. If you're just coming in, welcome. Share this out for me. Maybe somebody you know is having a troubled time and needs a little bit of enlightenment or needs a little bit of inspiration. Come on in and join us. There's a lot going on this week. There really is. I've been studying. I've actually started to go a little deeper in my own development, studying some astrology and just so much. And in fact, it's a little overwhelming how much is going on, but I'm going to try and actually shorten it down and give you guys a little bit of an idea of where we are, what we're feeling and what we can look for as we move through this week. Definitely. Very excited. Had a really great Reiki class yesterday. I slept so deep. Oh my gosh, when I teach and do that and do the attunements, it just really takes me deeper and deeper. I was like so deep in my sleep. I still feel a little bit groggy, but I am waking up. So I'm going to just share this out for our energy focus. Come on and join us. How are you, Millie? What's going on? What are you noticing for yourself this week? So much happening. All right, let's see. I'm going to join. I'm going to share it in my Empowered Spirit group. If you're not in the group, come on over and join us. We have a lot of fun. I'll be sharing more as we get through this summer. Been a little busy. All right, here we go. Share it out here. Post. I'm going to share it out on my timeline. So much is going on in my own life as well. I've made some great changes. It's really exciting. When we make changes, I think. What about you? Do you find that it's exciting or is it hard for you? Timeline. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. One more share and then I'll be focusing on what is going on. Let's see here. I have a lot going on. How do you like my sunflowers, right? From the market. Perfect for this time of year. Sunflowers make us happy. They follow the sun. They make us feel good. All right, let's see. One more share. How about the co-starters? Here we go. Share it out. There we go. All right. Yay. So what is going on for this week? All right, we had the new moon last week, right? And that already started to stir up a lot of changes, a lot of things going on for all of us. This week, we're going to start to have that first quarter of the moon. It's going to move into the energy of Virgo, which means we're going to be able to get into some of the details, get some of those new moon manifestations going. You're going to be really compelled to take action this week. It's a good time for that. So whatever project or manifestation or initiative that you started at the new moon, Really start to find those details. Write them down. What do I need to do to bring this in? You'll find that that Virgo moon, that Virgo um, energy is going to actually help you to do some of the details. I know for me, I'm going to really look forward to going to work on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday just to kind of get that done, get those things outlined. I have a little bit of trouble sometimes. Hi, lots going on, Millie says. Yes, there is definitely a lot going on. All right, so whatever projects you started to put out there last week in the new moon, you're going to find a little bit of that um, energy to help you get that going, to be detailed, to write it out, get your to-do list down. In fact, if you can this morning, just pull it all out, like do what we call the brain dump, put it out there so that you can organize what your week will be and you'll feel so much better as you go to start into it. And then as that Virgo energy comes forward, you'll be surprised at how productive you can be. 
All right, we're moving out of the sun being in Gemini. This week, we're going to see the sun moving into Cancer. All right, and that's going to be a little bit more of that deep energy, nurturing the family. Also, our emotions, we start to get into that emotional energy as the sun moves into Cancer. That's going to happen on the 21st, right? Right as we cross into the summer solstice. That's another big thing. Summer's always been my favorite season. I guess because I'm born in the summer. I'm a summer baby. But what about for you? What do you notice? Are you ready? Most of us hold on to old energy way too long, all right? Do you do this? Are you holding on to stuff from the spring that you don't want to let go of? Cut it. Time to just cut it out. Let it go. Bury it. Release it. So that as Wednesday comes around, actually early Thursday morning, you can open up to summer. Summer's about playing. It's about passions and fires and desires. We move the elements all around. We move into the direction of the south. Now, summer requires some patience, right? We can't just sit there and watch and wait for our garden to grow. So we have to sit back and allow what we planted in the spring to come forward. We can do a little weeding, right? We can get in there and clean stuff up. So that's one of the ways to help with that as we allow things to start growing. So really it is right now time to clear out that old energy. Don't bring this into the summer or whatever it is that you're holding on to from the spring. Today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, let it go. Just let it go. Write a letter. Burn it. Burn those intentions. Clean up your space. These are all ways that we can help us to let go of what's going on. Really important so that we can move into summer fresh and clear. Yesterday, I drew I drew from my um, shaman cards. I'm still learning them, and I'll be happy to draw from you today, too. And I drew this card called the spiral, and I really love what it had to say because the medicine was all about, yes, you do let go of old stuff, but you have done your work. It was telling me, you've done the work. Quit trying to get into the faults. Yes, the newness of you where you are right now is like a raw skin, but start really focusing on all those new paths for yourself. And I love that. I love the idea like, okay, my work is good. Like I've done it and I have. <laughs> I have been working on some of that old resentment and anger energy from the spring to let it go. So now it is time to really begin to focus on the new season, what does that mean for you? Definitely. We've got the longest days coming up, right? These next few days are really long, all right, all the way up into the summer solstice, and then we'll start to see that shift of energy. We have lots of transits, way too many for me to get into. I'm not the expert yet, but I have really enjoyed learning about it. A lot of sacred geometry up in the skies, a lot of squares, trines, all this stuff going on, which affects us whether we know it or not. That sacred geometry really aligns with the energy of our sacred geometry as well. But the one thing I do want to talk about, which really excites me, is that energy of Neptune. Energy of Neptune is finally, we've talked about it for a long time, going to go retrograde. So what does that mean for us? That means that it's the perfect opportunity for spiritual development to really get into learning more about your spirit, about your soul work, and what you're doing. So maybe you have wanted to try a new class, or maybe you wanted to go deeper, just kind of like I am doing with the astrology. Take that time for you this summer. Summer is so much fun to learn something new. So it's a good time to do that for yourself. And it will like help you. It'll help you to learn. It'll help you to stick with it. It'll help you to understand a lot of what is going on. There's so many things that you can join into. I know for myself, I mean, like my Reiki class yesterday, there's so many opportunities for people to learn. Come find me, definitely. There's so many ways to work with me as well, whether it's in my private mentoring, my Summer Empowered Spirit program is registering now, or whether it's a Wednesday night restorative class. Come find me so that you can learn more about your spiritual practice. Why do we need a spiritual practice? We need one because it will offer you the courage to move forward in your life. It will offer you the courage to have that development for yourself so that you can move through changes, so that you can let go of some of this old energy I'm talking about. That's why we want to have that spiritual development practice. That's why we really need it. It really will offer you a depth. It will help you to build your confidence. It will help you to know your own intuitive guidance. Really important right now. It really is. So here we are. It's that time of year. It's also Father's Day. All right, my father has passed, but I think of him often and go out to the medicine wheel today and just give some shout outs to him. So shout out to all the dads out there as we come into this energy of June, as we move out of one season and into the other. Really important. So I think that Neptune, that Neptune transit that we're having, I think to me is one of the important ones right now that's going on. All right, really important. A lot of new modalities are talking about coming in. What are those? I'm very curious myself. I know I've been talking about the cannabis industry. I'm going to be doing a series on my podcast, taking a few break, a few weeks break just to 
kind of pull this new research together, talking about cannabis can really empower the cellular level, what it does for us, how it can help our spirit as well. I think that's one of the new modalities coming in. How do we use it and how do we apply it to ourselves as well? So I think that's important too. What new modality can you learn for yourself right now that's going to help to empower your spirit? Really important. All right, Wednesday, we have the summer solstice at Birmingham Yoga. Come join me and members of the Spiritual Development Leadership Group. They're going to be offering with me. We're going to be setting a summer sacred space, showing you how to do that. We're going to be having an astrology update with Z-Girl. We're going to be talking about our plants, our people, our animals, our loves, all the many things that summer inspires us to do. So that's at Birmingham Yoga on Wednesday night. Come join us. You can find that on their website, birminghamyoga.com. Really important that we really honor the transitions. It helps our spirit free up. It helps us to make changes, to shift, especially if we've kind of gone down a, tra a trajectory that we don't really like, a path that we don't really like. It can pull us back into centering our energy for where we are. Really important. All right, so where can you begin to shift? How can you begin to shift your sacred space? All right, really important. Clean it up. Add some sunflowers, right? They're really beautiful. Add some colors that are fire and passion. Add some things that can really help you to shift your energy to open up to where you are in your life right now. Very important. All right, so that's what we have going on. Very busy week in the cosmos. Very busy, busy energy shifting seasons. So where can you shift? Where can you slow down to do that work? That's really important. I know the tendency is to speed up, speed up, but summer is about chilling out, finding that time, getting by the water, cooling off all that fire. Really important that we learn to do that for ourselves. All right, so let's just take a moment and come into that energy of slowing down, of aligning it for the week, letting go, taking a nice deep inhale, and exhale. Whenever you're watching this, allowing yourself to open up to this energy, pulling it together, bringing that spiritual body in align with the physical body as you move through this coming week. Lots of shifts and lots of changes. So aligning and grounding are the keys for this week. Really focusing on connecting with Mother Earth, enjoying the long days. So taking a nice deep inhale and exhale out. Letting go of the week, inhaling, and exhaling. Feeling that energy coming in as we align with our higher guidance. Call in your spiritual guides. Call them in to surround and protect you as you move through this week. And let us just open up to this brand new season that we have ahead of us as we say goodbye to the spring. As we honor those directions and all the many things that we've started, we leave the spring behind. And we step over that line into the brand new season of summer. That is the energy coming up. So we honor the direction of the east, the south, the west, and the north. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Opening up. Opening up our spirit. Opening up our soul. As we align with this new season. And all the many transits that are coming forward for you this week. Take a deep inhale. And now with intention, let go, exhale out anything that's left over from the spring. What is it? Feel the energy cut. Feel the energy release. Imagine yourself leaving it in the spring. Feel the energy of being fresh in your energy. Imagine a beautiful crystal ball above your head. And just allow that energy to come in and refresh your own spirit, your own soul, so that you can come into the summer refreshed and aligned leaving all that old stuff behind. Let it go. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feel the alignment coming in. Feel yourself lighter. Feel yourself opening up to that infinite potential that is all around. Bringing the awareness back. Exhaling down. Coming back. So if you didn't choose a card before I turn them over, focus on one, two, or three, and we'll look at the cards for the week. All right, so the first card, this is universal for all of us. I love this, judgment. This is really all about forgiveness. All right, we'll find it in a minute. There we go. It's all about forgiveness. So forgiving whatever it is going on. All right, a little bright here. I can't seem to get the focus. There we go. But we go from darkness to the light. 
the judgment card, a major arcana. So this is really reminding us that it's time to forgive. Let go and forgive. A really great card for what I'm working with right now myself. Again, forgiveness doesn't make anybody right. Don't hold the judgment on it. Just allow yourself to open up to that energy. All right, the whole Ho'opono technique I talk about often. Just, I'm sorry, I forgive you, thank you, I love you. Those are ways that you can move into the energy. You can forgive your soul. If you can't forgive a person or somebody else, start with yourself. I forgive you. So that's the energy as we move into the summer. I love it. So whatever it is from the spring, maybe things didn't work out. Maybe you, you didn't get what you wanted or maybe your work didn't work out. Whatever it is, forgive yourself, right? Let it go so that you can move in to open up to greater energy for you. I see that for myself, a whole new path opening. All right, so that's the main influence as we move through this week. The number one card, I love this because we're actually got a lot of that Venus energy going on right now, is the lover's card, the two of cups. Where can you open up to greater love for yourself and attract somebody into your life? We've got a lot of that. Venus is in the sky at night. So we've got a lot of that relationship energy going on as well. Another one of those transits. Yes. So if you chose number one, know that you can find that love. You can renew that love. Maybe it's not exactly where you need to be. But don't give up. Don't despair. And forgiveness. Forgiveness and love is really important too. So maybe that's what that influence is for you. Where can you forgive yourself or somebody else that is a love in your life? Really important. The second card we're having here is the Ace of Swords. All right, when lightning strikes, yeah, clarity comes. This is about new thought, which is perfect, perfect alignment for the summer energy. Brand new thought, all right? Have that aha moment. Now, as you move out that old energy, as you move out and offer that forgiveness, that's where that new thought can come in, right? If we're bogged down with that heavy energy of, Really, that lower energy, it's like hard to have clarity and focus. But when you can release that, that's that new energy, that Ace of Swords. I love it. Perfect for the summer coming up. All right, and the third card is the Four of Pentacles. All right, this card is really a great card. It shows that things are balanced and good. This is in our money sector as well. All right, the only thing reminds us of this card is like don't hold on too tight. All right, don't hold on too tight. See all those lines connecting? Make sure you keep that flow of energy going. But things are working well. Good for your bank account, all right? Good for the pentacles, the money aspects of your life. So this is a really good thing to keep in mind too. Let it flow, all right? Keep that money flowing. Keep that energy flowing. Really important. So as you move through this week, look for ways that you can forgive. Let go of the judgment, just forgive, let it go. Open up to the lovers, renew your relationships, forgive anything that's been going on or keeping you from being isolated from those that you love. Really important. When you forgive and let it go, new thought will come in. Really important. See those lightning bolts and see that beautiful rainbow, that infinite potential that's there. That's like brand new thought, brand new clarity coming in. Really important. And the four of pentacles, beautiful. Things are working well in your money sector. Just don't hold on too tight. Keep it flowing. Really keep it flowing, all right? So those are the cards that we have for this week coming up. Again, we have lots of transits, lots of stuff going on. We shift signs. We go into the, the Cancer sign from Gemini. We shift from one season to the other. Again, we have lots of influences, but the one that I've been talking about is that, Mer that uh, Neptune energy going retrograde, and it's really allowing for us to open up to our own spiritual development. All right, I'm not on air this week. Yes, I'm taking a break, doing a new series coming up very soon. But I will be at this Single Women's Empowerment Conference on Saturday. If you know any single women, you're in the Birmingham area. Not single women, single mothers. Single mothers empowerment. I'm sure there are single women there too, but single mothers. All right, Linda Mays Welch's um, advocacy for single moms. Great day down at the um, McWayne Center, babysitting for those that are 3 to 13. I'll be speaking, I'll be there talking, and I'll have lots of information doing demonstrations on integrative therapies like Reiki, like EFT like meditation, all those kind of things. So come join us down there. Wednesday at Birmingham Yoga, Summer Solstice. Come join us. It's a lot of fun. Crystal light therapy, sacred space, the gong, all that stuff, just to kind of help move all that old energy out. And if you didn't hear last week's um, episode, it is about the Single Mothers Empowerment Conference. So come check us out. Follow me. Come on over into the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'm taking registration now for the summer seasons. So let me know if you have any questions about the card. Hey, Janet, let me know if you'd like a card for yourself. I see people just now coming in. I know it's early on Sunday, but this helps me get up and going. Going to get outside. Going to go up to the medicine wheel, honor my dad. It's his land up there and just really have that moment with myself. 
So I will pick a card for you. I've actually got the um, shaman cards here. They're so beautiful. I've still been learning about them. If anybody wants a card before I sign off, let me know. I'm going to pick one just for everybody. Millie's asking for a card. There's a heart. All right, Millie, I love these cards. They're just so beautiful. This is the Mystical Shaman Oracles, Alberto and Colette Baron reed Alberto Velado. All right, here we go. Oh, Millie, I got the spiral for you too, and I promise I put it right back in there. So this card, this is the one I drew for me yesterday. I love it. I, shake, I mix them all up, and it came back forward as well. So Millie, this is all about the fact that, okay, you've done some of your work, and you're in this place now that... Quit focusing on the faults or what's not working. And now it's like, I know that, that new skin can feel raw. That's what it feels like for me. But now it's time to start nurturing that for yourself. All those many things that you can spiral into as you move into the season, right? It is. It is just so beautiful. I love this card. I love the medicine. It's almost like it gives you permission to say, okay, I have done the work I need to do on letting those wounds go. And now it's time to focus on spiraling into a whole new energy for myself. I love it. I think it's so funny that it came from forward again. All right, Janet, how's everything up in New York? All right, here we go. I'm going to draw one for you. Janet, I drew the sweat lodge. All right, I don't know if you've ever been to a sweat lodge. I was up at one a couple of weeks ago. So refreshing. Really, it reminds us to get into that energy of Mother Earth, down into the womb of Mother Earth, to sweat our prayers, to remember what we are praying for, to remember what our spiritual practice is all about. It's time to do some cleansing. All right, perfect for as we move into the change of seasons. So where can you where can you sweat it out? Where can you let stuff go? And know that as you are, as you're sweating it out, and maybe it's exercising, maybe it's a hot yoga, maybe it's something like that, but that cleansing the soul is really important. And as you do, setting the intentions on why you're doing it. That's the medicine. Cleanse it out and remember what it is that you're really pushing all that energy out of the body for. That's one of the beautiful things about the sweat lodge because it gets hot in there and we're sweating and we're chanting and we're praying. And when you feel like you can't go any further, that's when you remember what your prayers are. That's when you remember what you're in there for. So that's the medicine of this card. Remember what it is. Sweat it out. Get outside and set that intention to have that release for yourself. Beautiful card. I love it. I love it showing going in. I love the figure. It's going into the darkness to open up to the light. Beautiful card, Janet. Yay. All right, Tinia T, welcome. Can I pick a card? Yes, here we go. I'm drawing from the shaman cards, even though we have the other ones going on. Water. All right, this is a perfect card to remind us that we are going into that energy. The sun is moving into the cancer sign. Water is about our emotions. All right, where can you let your emotions flow a little freer? Or I'm going to ask you, are they flowing too freely? I don't know you, but how is it for you? I like to think about this as like giving you that medicine since it's upright to allow the emotions to flow, to allow them to come forward. Really a beautiful card right now. Some of us, I know, sometimes people get around you and they say, quit being so sensitive or don't show your emotions or quit crying. And that was a big one for me growing up. But it's important, all right? 85% of physical ailments is caused from unresolved emotional issues. So resolve those emotions. Let them flow, especially as we move into the new season. Really a beautiful card. Water also cools the fire, right? So let those emotions flow. Don't be afraid of showing those. I hope that was helpful for you. All right. I love that card. It's just beautiful. All the blues in there. All right, Janet, thank you too for showing up. Yay. And I hope that's helpful for you. All right. These are just beautiful cards. I love them so much. Anybody else? Let's pick one for everybody. Just a universal. Yes, that makes sense. Thank you. You are welcome. All right. So universal card for the shamans, for the, uh, from the shaman cards as we move from one season to another is the drum. I love this. I have not drawn this card before. Again, these are new for me. So it shows this beautiful energy. It's almost like he's holding the drum up, almost like it's a reflection of the moon, really, or the earth or something. It looks so pretty. We have this energy. We see the feathers. So I'm actually going to go to the book since I have not had this card before. This is how I learned. I take one card at a time. I would imagine it reminds us to align with the heartbeat of our mother, the Mother Earth, to come into that beat and that rhythm for you. So I'm going to see what the cards say. That's how Colette Baron reed says to learn the cards. Go back to the book. All right, so the essence for all of us as we move through this energy is the rhythm, right, of the drum tunes you to the beating heart of the universe, right? We said that. Its wood frame links you to the trees and helps your journey to the lower world 
via the roots and the upper world through its branches. The drum skin gives the shaman the powers of the animal kingdom. Love that. I saw an owl yesterday on my hike. I'm just walking and it was staring at me and I, I just brought it in. I was so beautiful. We looked at each other for a long time until I started talking. <laughs> and then it flew away, me and my mouth, right, sometimes. But the drum skin gives the shaman the powers of the animal kingdom. Striking the drum calls forth the power of the thunder and the rambling of the earthquake. The drum invites a trance state while healing and prophecy happens. So the invitation when the drum shows up invites you to take the next bold step in your journey. I love it. Bold step, guys. That's what the summer is going to offer you. The forces of heaven and earth are aligned behind you, supporting effortless action. Effortless action. That's the energy of summer. This is not a time to push against the river. All right, the current will take you exactly where you want to go. Jump in, get in your rafts, get in your canoe. Beautiful card, right? Perfect alignment for the summer. Collect your power tools and summon your courage because it's going to be a wild and glorious journey. Yes, all those transits, it is going to be a wild summer. We talked about this last week. The super new moons, three in a row. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm of what is really essential in your life. Oh, I love this card. Yay. So this is for all of us. This is helping us to move through this transit. Power to step into the new part of your life. Power to take that step forward. All right. For all of us, it's going to be a wild ride all around. We're going to see it in the politics. We're going to see it in the world. We're going to see it in our personal life. So take a step forward. Don't stay stuck. I love this card. I love the energies that have come in. Forgiveness. Open up to the love energy in your life. Have that new thought and clarity. And know the abundance is there. Just don't hold on too tight. Continue to let it flow. All right, guys. Lots going on here. Lots going on with my work as well. Check it out. Follow me on social media. Posting a lot to keep you in tune with your energy. Create that spiritual practice. Find the courage. That's exactly what it will give. Hey, Ravi, how are you? Just signing off here. Have a great week. Come join us for the summer solstice. And if you can't make it wherever you are, renew your sacred space. Bring in the elements of fire. Set new intentions. Really, really important. Really important to make this shift in energy. This is how we grow. This is how we get out of that energy of being stuck and open up. Open up to the guidance of your soul. All right, just like that card with the drum there. It's just a beautiful card to remind us to take that next step forward. Really, listen to the heartbeats of the earth. Align with the energy. Bring in your power totems and the animals. Go for a walk. That was so beautiful yesterday when I saw that owl appear for me. It was so beautiful. Find those things for yourself as well. Check it out. If you missed the beginning, I talk about the transits and what we can expect with the universe opening up to the cosmos. Align your energy. Be strong in your spiritual practice. Reach out for help. Guys, you don't have to do this alone. All right, sometimes these transits can stir a lot up. Reach out for some guidance. Again, that Neptune energy is really encouraging to create a spiritual path for yourself, spiritual development, self-help. Go deep, man. That's exactly where we are right now. Have a great day. Enjoy fathers all around. Thank you, dads, for all you do. Appreciate it. Missing my dad up there in heaven. I know he's watching over. Have a great week. Come join us for the summer solstice to your spirit. Namaste.